Hey guys, special treat for you today, okay? So we could do a little gym tour of the uh, the Harlequins gym. So obviously, I'm the Harlequins strength and conditioning coach. So this is the gym that we designed. So I was fortunate enough to design it and choose the kit that went in here on the most part. So we'll show you what we got in here, what different bits of kit, and, uh, and, and see, you know, if there's any bits you think we should probably have, but I think we've got a lot of it already covered. We've got a leg press here. It's uh, much wider than your usual leg press for the bigger guys. Uh, it's a split carriage, so we can go unilateral uh, if we want to, or we can go double leg. And also, it's like a toaster rack system, okay? So you've got the, the weight is directly behind the point of contact with your foot, which is massively important. And a lot of leg presses, you see guys stacking them up with plates that are hanging out the side. This is a lot harder with the weight directly behind, behind your foot. After that, we've just got a simple leg extension leg curl machine. We usually use this for the injured guys, guys who are coming back from knee injuries or or what have you, or go through boots, you know, just got some options there. Play loaded, pull down, and seated row. Uh, we've got a couple of these, uh, just with steel plates, so we can put whatever weight on them we want. I think the cables are like rated to two tons, so we can go much heavier than anyone can lift, for sure. And moving forward, we've got uh, four cable stacks, so we've set them up in this configuration so that we can do kind of like crossover work, as well as our usual like uh, shoulder work or press downs like any other variations of uh, back exercise we want to. Uh, just rolling back, we've got a bit of kit most of you probably wouldn't have seen before. This is called the Maya truck. Uh, so it's effectively like a, a loaded scrum machine. Uh, so you put you, you are uh, pushing that way. So a horizontal push movement. Uh, it's quite a nice little bridge between kind of like a normal squat and then towards a, a scrum position. We've also got a belt squat here. Uh, this is a new addition this year. Uh, it's been a great addition just because there's a lot of guys who get beat up. Maybe they don't want to do any kind of axial loading, so they don't want any loading through their backs. Uh, so we use the belt squat with these guys, uh, and that's, that's saved us quite a bit. So that was a really good addition to the gym. So walking down, we've got the dumbbell area. Uh, we've got multiple benches. I think we've got nine of these adjustable benches in the gym. We use these. These are kind of like our bread and butter for a lot of movements. Uh, they go kind of all the way from seated down to flat, standard. Uh, dumbbell rack, you'll recognize these. Same dumbbells, obviously I like a Vanco kit. So we've got a Vanco dumbbells, went all the way up to 70 kilos. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty big set of dumbbells at the end there. A smaller dumbbells as well for the warm up bits, a little med ball mess at the end. Uh, various plyo boxes here, like for our box jumps. Uh, anything else we want to do with these, we'll do these for like, use these for step ups as well. Um, kind of any elevated back leg split, split squat variations, we'll use these as well. Uh, they're pretty good, they're pretty solid. Uh, this double rig at the end ends up being a bit of a dumping ground for rugby balls. Uh, but to be fair, we, we, we've got the kind of bench row here. Um, we've got different attachments we can go onto the double double rig. It's you notice it's really tall. Uh, we've got it tall for the, the, some of the locks. We've got some guys who are kind of six eight, uh, six nine. So we needed a, a really tall rack for them to press out of and work out of. And then this is you know where most of our work actually happens, which is the the rack system. Okay, so we've got. Uh, Six racks all set up. Each rack has a Olympic bar, an Alico uh, weightlifting bar, and a, um, usually a Texas power bar or a variation of. Um, each rack's got that. We've got each rack will have uh, Ivanko plates, uh, going from 25 down to, to 1.25. Um, you also notice that we've got the split platform here, so effectively we can do Olympic lifting or deadlifting on these six platforms down here, while we've still got guys lifting, so we've got a clear, Split between the two. Uh, I've also got some strongman kit kind of dotted around the place uh, in storage at the moment. So I've got a set of the Rebel Strength Farmers, uh, the little flump log, the, the little uh, light ladies log we've got. Uh, they don't really get used with the players, they're just more that I need someone to store them. Uh, behind the racks, we've got some more trap bars, we've got safety squat bars, which are another kind of important addition for us. We've actually got three of these. Uh, they were hugely, hugely beneficial for guys with shoulder injuries. Uh, we don't really want to put them into into kind of a squat position, um, 
So they were a good purchase. We loaded them pretty heavy. We've got a various back extension benches. So we've got a 44 inch back extension, which is also a T-bar row position. Uh, a normal standard back extension bench. Uh, our glute ham raise. Uh, then we've got some cardio gear that we use for circuits. So we've got the Rogue Echo bike that all the players absolutely hate. Uh, it's just tough. Uh, two rowers, uh, two ski ergs. Uh, the Nord board, which probably not a lot of you have seen, it's a uh, way of doing a Nordic, a Nordic curl, so you lower yourself self slowly. It's like a, a knee dominant hamstring exercise. We perform it eccentrically, and actually the Nord board will measure how much force each leg is producing. So it's quite good when we're looking to to get guys back into a fitness if they've torn a hamstring or a knee injury or anything else like that. We can measure if they're lifting evenly left to right, uh, which is very very important. Obviously, we've got our watt bikes. Uh, we've got the Alter G, which is probably another kit, bit of kit not many people would have seen. Uh, the Alter G is effectively a treadmill where you can reduce the body weight of the, uh, the athlete. So they pump a load of air into a vacuum there uh, and you can take a guy down to I think it's like 70% of their body weight and just running on the treadmill. So once again, it's got implications for guys coming back from injuries, lower limb injuries obviously, uh, where we can get guys running on that a little bit sooner. Uh, finally, we've just got a little dumping area here with some various get, uh, bits and pieces. Various sleds, usually got a double, double ended dog sleds, and we push up and down this bit of turf here. Um, also, the re reason we designed it like this is in, in the summer, if we need to do kind of like any conditioning circuits, I can move all the kit out of the way, and we've got this big open space where we can, uh, we can either do like conditioning circuits or warm ups in here in the winter if it's really shitty outside. But yeah, man, that's, that's it. I mean, not a lot of frills, it's more of a, a working gym. Not too much cardio kit, obviously, because they're doing so much running. Uh, so there are some bits that we would like, but we've, you know, this is a 300 square meters, so it's not that big, but we managed to get half the squad in here at any one time, which is, is massively important. The most important thing is we have control of our own space. We have control of the own kit we've got going in. So yeah, definitely comment below. Let me know if there's any bits of kit you think we're missing, uh, anything that you wish you had in your gym, anything you want me to answer any questions on. But yeah, definitely like and subscribe uh, for more little videos like this.